it is Wednesday evening. It's Wednesday. Yes, it's Wednesday. <laughs> um, 5.47 p.m. And I'm headed into Birmingham. What? What are you doing going into Birmingham this time of day? I'm so excited. <laughs> I am going to meet a subscriber that is a dear, dear friend of mine. Y'all heard me talk about her before. Lynette Chapman from Norman, Oklahoma is in Birmingham at the Church of the Highlands with her husband going to a uh, some kind of Bible conference. I'm not sure what exactly it's called, but uh, she contacted me and told me she was coming. Is there any way we can get together for dinner? And for the last few days, I've been thinking, there's no way. There's just no way. I've just been thinking, no way that we're gonna be able to do it. John has worked till nine the last two nights. He is at a college in Selma, Alabama, which is maybe an hour and a half below Birmingham. And so I was just like, I just don't think we can do it. I really hated to ask him to go to dinner tonight because he's worked late the last two nights, but he finally just said, let's just go ahead and do it. I said, well, I may never get to see her on this earth <laughs> again because what are the odds that she got to come to Birmingham, Alabama? And so we're, I'm going in to meet her and her husband uh, for dinner. I am so excited. And of course, you know, I'm gonna video some of it, but mostly we'll be talking and eating. So, it'll be a short video clip. Uh, you like the new glasses? <laughs> they are bigger. They're bigger. They are coach. They're beautiful. Let's see if I can show you this. Can you see the inside of that? Yeah, you can. The inside of it's gorgeous. I wish they had put that on the outside. I didn't buy them because they were coach. I bought them because they fit so dadgum good. And, uh, oh, my eyes have been open. I can see so much better. I'd had those glasses three years, and my eyesight had changed quite a bit. He said my cataracts were changing quite a bit. And I may have told y'all this, but he says he takes most people's cataracts off when they're around 75. He will be taking mine off when I'm 65. So that's a few more years. So anyway, um, but yeah, I like them. They're darker and they're bigger. So, I tried on some that were like tortoise all the way around. I loved them. But they were real rounded on the bottom and they just didn't look good because I got so much face and I didn't need to, they just didn't look good on the face. So anyway, but I'm excited going in. I know this is a sacrifice of love that John's having for me to stop in Birmingham and eat after he's been at a seminar. Uh, two and a half hours from home or two hours about well two and a half hours from home so but that's what it is uh, mother and I went and spent most of the day with my mother-in-law today um, uh, my sister-in-law Felicia uh, needed to go get her hair done and mother and I have been trying for months if not a couple of years We've talked about going over and spending the day with Peggy because when mother and Peggy get together, they just have the best time. And um, why do we wait till somebody gets sick to do the visiting that we want to do? Why do we do that? Don't do that, folks. These earrings are a little big. They're kind of getting caught in my hair. If you want to visit, visit now, okay? Don't wait. But we had a great day. Um, but I must say, got Felicia in the kitchen when she got back. Felicia had made some awesome chicken salad with pineapple and pecans in it. We had the best sandwiches. So I got Felicia in there and I said, it's been great. I can tell that your mother's really enjoyed it. Mother has had a blast. As a matter of fact, your mother's not got to talk much. <laughs> My mother has. <laughs> um, Peggy would be talking and mother would just butt in and just start a whole new conversation but that's what happens when you're 92 
this is a dot sprite laminate. Pretty good. Oh wait, it's not dot. What? What? I thought it was dot. Oh well. I had to have some drink. Anyway, mother talked 90 miles an hour. That's what she does. She's a talking little thing. Now, I know y'all are saying, well, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. I talk a lot when I'm on here, but I really have a lot of quiet times. John and I will ride sometimes an hour or more just riding. We won't say anything. I like my quiet time too. Mother has no quiet time right now. <laughs> I guess it's because she's by herself all the time. And so she has no quiet time. But it's raining, it's been lightning like crazy at our house this afternoon. It's starting to rain, I'm so glad that John called and said, did you notice that your umbrella is gone out of the car? And I said, no. So I stopped at Dollar General and bought me a little, Wal little Walmart. I stopped at Dollar General, bought me a little umbrella. And so I'm excited to meet Lynette. We've talked on the phone many times. She has prayed for me many times. She gives me words of wisdom. The Lord sent her to me. There's times in your life when you just know that a special relationship has come into your life, and Lynette is one of those. Um, I was so divinely blessed years ago to make a friend at the Department of Ed, at the Department of Education in Washington, D.C. I went up for a meeting and I went with my boss and another lady, and um, the woman fell in love with me when I met her. She is the one who dispersed all the grant money throughout the whole nation. My boss was very professional, and she had his number from the beginning, but he was also my choir director. And he just, you know, he kind of took me along. I was going up the ladder a little bit, and. He was comfortable with me going, and then this other like this other um, administrator was a lady. So when I met her, we immediately united. It was insane. She said he was talking college business and all this, and she went, "Hold on, hold on, just a minute." She said, "Honey, you got the prettiest white hands I have ever seen." I said, well, thank you. And she said, is that OPI nail polish you got on? And I said, it is. I had my nails done. She said, love OPI. So Devin starts talking about uh, the college again, and they're talking, and him and the other administrator are talking. I'm just standing against the wall because I'm just there, you know, it's a third person. And she went, hold on just a minute. Hold on just a minute. Talking to him. She said, come over here just a minute. And I said, me because I'm facing her and she's facing me and I said ma'am and she's like come over here a minute don't be afraid come over here Devin's like <laughs> I went over there she pulled her drawer open and there were tons of bottles she had really pretty age tan she was a good bit older and uh, but she pretty hands and pretty nails and she said what do you think about this? She had a drawer full of OPI nail polish. And I said, well, I think that's just pretty close to heaven right there. And she said, she pulled up a color. She said, what do you think about this? And I said, oh, I love that. And I said, that's that's the kind of colors I like. She said, well, here, take it. And I went, now, mind you, this woman is a senior officer at the Department of Education in Washington, D.C. And I went, oh, no, Miss White Hannah, I couldn't take that. And she said, take it. That would look great on them pretty white hands. And Devin's like, take it. <laughs> so I took it and then I put it, I had a big bag over my shoulder. One that um, well, was a big Lancome bag is what it was. And I had used it while traveling, while flying. Had my wallet and had other stuff to read in it. And then I was gonna change back into my purse, you know, when we got to the hotel. But it was just a big black bag, had black, um, patent strip across and it had Lancome on it and everything. So I kind of opened it and I said, well, thank you so much. Oh, honey, she winked at me. She was like this. She like, she knew she was driving him crazy. She knew, and she, she knew, uh, I mean, she knew him 
before we went, he had talked to her about all of our federal grants and stuff like that. And so, um, so it was a long, the third thing came about. And she said, where'd you get that bag? And I said, oh, and no, she said, I love that bag. There was a little gal, she didn't interrupt him this time. I love that bag. I said, well, thank you. And she said, where'd you get it? And I said, well, it was actually a Lancome free gift. She said, that is adorable. I love it. I got to have one. And I said, well, I think Lancome is still running the special. You know, just got to have it. Just love it. So anyway, we sat and we visited and everything. And she'd look at me and wink ever so often. It was just, it was a God thing. You hear me? A God thing. So we walk out and she gets up. She hugs all of us. Funny. Oh my gosh. She was so funny. And uh, she hugged me and she said, I think I'm going to call you Sunshine. And I said, okay, well, little did I know what a tremendous pet name that was because her and her husband had never had any children, but they had a dog and her dog's name was Sunshine. And so you talking about a love pet name that was. We walk out to the elevator. She said, I'm going to be calling you. <laughs> she didn't say that to him. I'm going to be calling you. I'm going to talk to you. I like you, girl. And so we walk out to the elevator, and when she gets out of sight, my boss, he looked at me, he said, why didn't you give her that bag? I said, it's got all my stuff in it. What was I supposed to do with my stuff? When we get home, you find her one of those bags, and you send her one. <laughs> it was the, well, we ended up becoming the closest of friends. Oh my gosh, it was such a beautiful time. She's been dead now about seven years. But when I went back to a meeting in DC, I had to go to DC every other year. And then on the off year, we were in like a major city like Chicago or New York. It was, it was wonderful to get to travel like that. I had no intention of telling y'all this tonight. This is the way it came up. Um, <clears throat> so, um, we talked and talked, and she had been battling breast cancer off and on for, gosh, probably 10 years or more, just, and her husband just took such good care of her, and um, I ended up, one year, he he would he would uh, email me, and she'd email me, um, so one year, she had wanted me to come visit, then she had gotten sick, and he told me it wasn't a good time. And they lived in Chantilly, Virginia, and which is just right over from D.C. And so the next time I went back to D.C., they came and picked me up after the conference was over and took me home with them. And I stayed with them three or four nights. And they took me all over the Bay, all over Baltimore, all over that area, D.C., took me to the big Air Force Base sightseeing, took me to eat crab cakes, treated me like a queen. We had the best visit. But I got to talk to her a few more times and I got to talk to her when she was really sick. Uh, they put her on the phone and I told her how much I loved her. Now you want to talk about a God appointed relationship? That one was. And Lynette and I have not talked nowhere near to that degree, but through YouTube, through the phone, through texting, we have a kindred spirit, and I know it. And so I have a feeling we're going to be friends for years. And she has been good for me to have somebody to text and to talk to when I need prayer and when I need to sound off about something. She's just a very, very strong spiritual person. And it's just, it's been another God-appointed relationship. So I told you that whole big story because I was telling you how that God, have you got people in your life that you know God divinely appointed? And some of them are just in there for a season. And that's okay. Peggy, I have things throughout my house that Peggy gave me. And I will treasure that friendship forever. And I can't wait to see her one day when I get to heaven. But I could talk all day about God-appointed things. Peggy has had a good week. It has been a week since we went to the oncologist. And we
we praise God for a good week. And we're going to praise Him for every good week that she has. So y'all keep praying. You told So many of you have told me that you're going to. You know, God has the ultimate plan in His hand. But He also listens to us when we pray, too. And I am so thankful for that. So I'm going to get off here. I've rambled eight, 18 minutes. Seriously? Seriously? You're going to say, uh, we're going to call you Mama Love because you're talking so much. <laughs> but I'll be back in a few minutes with my buddy Lynette on here. See y'all. Where's my script? Where's my Hi, script? Guys. <laughs> Hi, guys. That's what you got to say. Hi, guys. Hi guys. <laughs> that sounds like an Oklahoma hi guys. Mm -hmm. Well, I, as I said, here are my buddies from Oklahoma, Lynette and David Chapman. Applause, applause. <laughs> <laughs> we have had the most glorious night. Have y'all had fun? We have yes, had fun. Yeah. Yes. You ever get an invitation from today? Go for it. That's right. <laughs> Show up, she'll buy you dinner and everything. <laughs> Worth oh, a trip to talk Birmingham. about the Lord, First have we? Are fixing to go up. <laughs> what was that? Our subscribers are fixing to go up. Yes, my subscribers. Thank you. Good plug for my <laughs> subscribers. We've had the most wonderful time. Uh, uh, let's see. We're the only people left in the restaurant. <laughs> well, That's good. So, y'all, yeah, we've had such a great time. Thank we you so much. Thank you. Lynette is an awesome pianist. And I know he's an awesome preacher. I'm just, charm I'm just charming. He's a charming. He's a charming. <laughs> he's a what? He's a funny one. Oh, he's a funny one? Yeah. Oh, I love that. That's why our pastor is, too. But they came all the way from Oklahoma to see me. So, see? So, see, if you, you really like me, John and I will take you out to eat, won't we, John? That's right. <laughs> and when John made it, Hi, guys. Hi, guys. <laughs> we, I'm on me now. <laughs> We have had the most wonderful time, and I'm telling you, I told you that they're God-appointed friends, and they are without a doubt. We've just had a blessed time. Will y'all come back? Yeah. Well, okay, yes, I, th okay. I don't think you heard this whole game. Okay. You get that church planning. Mm -hmm. Lynette has this feeling, which I've already had, that she's supposed to play for me to sing one day. I felt that too. Okay. So John's going to be retired probably mm -hmm. a year or so whenever God okay. lets him go. We're coming to your church. I think that's a great plan. Isn't that great? Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Woo woo. I love it. Does that sound good to you? Sounds good. I love I'm it. I'm always ready for a run. I love it. This has, been, this has been wonderful, guys. This is, this is one of those special times from God. Yes. It really Thank is. You. It's one of those special times. So, all right. Tell them bye. Say bye, guys. <laughs> bye, guys. <laughs> Do I got you? <laughs> let me back up so, a little bit. First of all, this is my gift from Lynette. First of all, let me just say, two kip chicks. That's us. That's us. <laughs> Marketplace. I'm excited. Come this way. Don't get my right. whole body in there. Make it look better. Yeah. 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 I'm trying to resist from really, you know, I decorated with it some Christmas, and now probably I'll be full of it. I'm trying to keep from buying more of it because I don't need it. I have a whole corner and a kitchen that's all about the I love And I can't get this knot untied. I took here, my nails off here. You want to try? I pulled my nails off, my artificial nails off at the hospital. So, um, keep those nails <laughs> Look at all the nubs. <laughs> First of all, you didn't have to buy me anything. But secondly, I'm excited. <laughs> we thought it was required to have dinner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You are the creamer. Uh, you are the cream in my coffee. <laughs> it's, a light. it's like a little night light. And that's the only thing he drinks in his coffee is cream. Look how cute. You know, this is going to look adorable in my corner with my Ray Dunn. Just think about it. Over there in that little corner on the cabinet. Oh, yes. I've already got a place for it. Thank you. So you are so good. She gave a lot to the lot. <laughs> that is adorable. That looks like Ray Dunn. Yes. You are the cream of my, my coffee. Thank you. 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 Th
man. I just got chills. That's Holy Ghost chills for you people. <laughs>